And hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Lights and Gear is back with another product review. Nightcore is the latest product we have today. It's the new SC2 Superb Charger with all kinds of hot features as the box indicates. It's a very futuristic looking charger with just a set of LEDs. No digits on this charger, but the instruction manual tells you what the digits or what the uh, little LEDs are supposed to be saying. So. Um, at least as long as you have that as a cheat sheet you should know what's going on with your batteries it has two slots and the big selling point is that it can charge up to three amps which is pretty amazing I've never seen a charger charge up to uh, up to that uh, height up to that um, uh, limit before up to that speed if you will uh, so anyway three amps is the top charging current and you can do so with one battery, not two. One battery can charge up to three, whereas if you do have two in the charger at once, the other side will have a limit of two amps, but still that's pretty darn good. And for uh, lithium-ion batteries, you can select all these different currents up to three amps, and for NIMH batteries, you can select up to two amps. Um, and it also has a default charging for each type of battery so if you do nothing and don't try to select a different current it will automatically uh, charge the battery as it sees fit. Uh, for a uh, battery, a lithium ion, that is more than 1200 mAh it will select its own current of 2A. If the battery is less than 1200 mAh the automatic current will be 0.5 and 0.5 is also the default current for NIMH batteries. But I believe with pretty much all of them you can select your own current. But um, if the battery, lithium ion by the way, is less than 1200, so if it's an 18350 or a 16340 or something along those lines, usually 0.5 is the safest um, uh, current to charge those on. Here are all the battery sizes it does accept and accepts a whole lot of them as you can see. These will be for IMR, lithium ion and life PO4 and then down here are your choices for NIMH. Uh, it is optimized for IMR batteries and as it says here it has an IMR battery restoration feature. Uh, and on the back are all the features, of which there are too many to talk about, of course, but uh, you can always pause the video and have a look at it. However, uh, you know, I mean, it, it does offer an awful lot, and um, reverse belt pol polarity protection, and it also has overtime charging protection if the battery is taking too long to charge, and if it sits there for over 10 hours, it'll automatically shut it off, so forth and so on. So it does offer quite a bit. Uh, even though it uh, only has the two slots, it uh, does a lot in each of those slots. So, uh, inside the box, as well as the charger, of course, you will get this very large and informative instruction manual, which is too big to show on the camera, um, but uh, has all kinds of uh, information here, which you'll certainly want to know about. And uh, you also get a car charger along with it right here. So that's pretty handy and here is the charger itself already taken out of the box and uh, ready to go. I hope these uh, flashlights behind aren't too distracting in the video but uh, I am using them for light so uh, anyway here is the charger and as you can see on the top it's already plugged into the AC here is for the car and here is the USB port right there. So anyway um, these are the LEDs and each slot has two sets of LEDs. Right now only one is lit up because there's no battery in there. As soon as you put the battery in the other side lights up. And the little chart within the manual explains what those sides all do. And it says it right here. The uh, first slot, or the first, um, the first side that's already lit up now is are the currents. So that's what you can select from and on the other side will be the voltage of the battery. As it starts charging, uh, the voltage will uh, go up. So uh, that's what each battery is going to show you with two sides or two sections, if you will, of uh, blinking LEDs.
And there's also a feature on it too that if you put a bad battery in there, one that cannot charge or has been previously damaged, um, all eight of the LEDs will blink right away to let you know that that battery is not going to charge. So that's a handy feature as well. So you don't start trying to charge a battery that simply can't be charged or won't work. So that's good. So anyway, I have two different types of batteries here. I have a AAA and IMH and I have an 18650 right here, uh, cheaper, cheaper type. So uh, anyway, let's um, put the uh, NIMH in. And there you go. Right away, it will start blinking. And if I do nothing, it will select its own current. On this side, it is telling me right now that it's going to, it's going to charge at 0 0.5. And on this side, it's telling me that there's about 3.7 volts in the battery. Whoops, it just went up another one. Now it's telling me there's 4.2 volts in the battery. So anyway, that's what it's telling me. So if I've, I do nothing, and that's what it charges at over here at 0 0.5. Now if I want to change this current, I press the button, and then press it again, and then it starts ramping and giving me the choices of current that I can select from. So right now it is giving me a choice of up to 2 amps if I want that much. If I want it to charge at 2 amps, I would just release my finger when it shows 2 amps. Right now it's showing well, there it goes, 0 0.5, 1, and 2. You got that? 0 0.5, 1, and 2, as it keeps blinking. Oh, now, now the camera isn't focusing for some ridiculous reason. Not sure why. Okay. But anyway, uh, through the blurriness of the camera, why isn't it focusing? Gosh, that's odd. Okay. It should be. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, not sure why the camera isn't focusing. Um, <laughs> ah, there it goes. Okay, maybe it was trying to focus behind. All right. All right, so anyway, it's still ramping, and I'm just going to take my finger off here when it gets to 1A. Okay, so I'll just leave it for a couple of seconds, and then it will start charging at the uh, choice that I've made. There it goes. Okay, and this side is showing us that it's all the way up to uh, 4.2 volts, and over here it's going to charge at 1A. Now I can put the other battery in, and uh, the other thing is you can change this. Once it starts charging, you can even change it as it's going along, which I think is pretty nifty. On a lot of chargers you can't do that. You have to take the battery out and start again. But I can even select that again and then change it further as, even as it's charging. So I'll take the 18650, put that in, and now this is going to start going. This is going to start charging. Already it is showing me over here that the default is 2 amp, so it's going to charge at 2 amp, and it's telling me down here at the moment that the battery is at 1.2 volts, which is a little bit low, but uh, that's what it says, 1.2 volts at the moment. and. Uh, and the default, um, the default over here is going to be, oh, I'm sorry, that's 2 amps. Yes, 2 amps, right. The default over here is 2 amps, and it's showing me the battery is at 1.2 volt. Uh, that's pretty darn low. I didn't think it was that low. I was discharging it, but I didn't think it was that low. Anyway, I can change this. So I can change this one now if I want to. All I do is press the button on this side for this battery, and then press the other side, and now it's giving me the choices for the 18650. And it's giving me a choice of all the way up to 3 amps. If I want to charge at 3 amps, I would release my finger when it got to the very top. So otherwise, it's going 0 0.5, 1, 2, and 3. And on the other side, it's still showing me... Well, for the other side, it's showing me the voltage, but it wasn't showing that a second ago. But anyway, uh, so those are the choices it's giving me right now. Um, actually, yeah, on this side, it is showing me that it's a 4.2 volt battery or that it's going to charge up to 4.2. I think that's what that's showing me on the other side. But I can take my finger off any time here. There we go. So I've taken my finger off at 2 amps, and that's what it's going to charge at. So we'll wait a second until the charge begins. There it goes. And now the uh, NIMH side has returned. 
to what the selection was there a moment ago and over here we have two amps and it's telling me still that the battery is at 1.2 volt so uh, that's how you do it and it'll accept all those other different battery sizes and work basically the same way I do not believe you can charge a battery singularly in the channel 2 slot I know I was trying to do it before and having a little bit of an issue um, if I find out differently I will let you know but I think if you're just doing one battery it um, and that's yeah I think if you're just doing one battery it prefers you to use channel 1 and not channel 2 because if you read the uh, information in the uh, manual about USB charging that also depends on which that that has a determination on battery slot as well um, about charging with USB but um, anyway you can uh, take a look at that on your own time but uh, that is the uh, charger in its basic form uh, it seems to do a fine job when everything is done all these LEDs on the charging side will be solid so uh, up on on the right side here it'll show it'll show everything is done by indicating that the voltage has reached its peak so all the LEDs on the right side will be solid and, and so that's how you know that the charge is completed but um, it seems to do a fairly good job and uh, I've already charged a couple of batteries to completion and that's what happened with those and uh, again you can use the different sizes and the different types and you can you don't have to select everything at the start you can select them you know you can put one in after the other one's already started and select that and then you can also change the current as you're going along um, so you can do stuff like that um, see I'm already changing the current on the NIMH now that it was already going but I can stop it and uh, change the current even as it's already charging select something else and then wait for it to start and then it will return uh, everything back to the where it was a moment ago so you can you know it'll return the 18650 to charging and now it's doing a different current on the NIMH because I just changed it. So anyway, that is the Nightcore Superb Charger SC2. I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty nifty. Um, you can uh, uh, click the uh, link below where there, uh, where you can purchase it, um, and I, I have included that a purchase link uh, down in the description. And uh, you can also check out the written review at my website, lightsandgear.com where uh, you know you can read about it and uh, read about the different um, uh, features and so forth that way uh, which might be handier for you before you actually make a purchase so thank you for watching hope you've enjoyed the video and the new Nightcore SC2 charger and uh, we will see you next time at Lights and Gear thanks have a good day